So part 2a, write x to the power of a half using radical notation. In the question 1 we chatted about this and there's a rule that says a to the power of 1 over n equals the nth root of a. So what's x to the power of 1 half? And if you want to learn this properly you can watch some more videos on the web page and, and get a good lesson on it. But x to the power of 1 half is the second root of x. Okay. So what's another way of writing that? A simpler way. How can you write that with a little less ink? How can you write that with a little less ink? Just root x. Because the simpler way to write the second root is just root, which implies it's a square root. Okay. Now this is t to the power of two thirds in case you can't see it. Okay. And how can you write that with roots? We went over this, right? Well there's a couple of ways. It's it's using this rule a to the power of m over n is the nth root of a to the power of m or the nth root of a and then all to the power of m. So this way or this way would be fine. Okay. So now the n is on the bottom and that's the root. So this is going to be the third root of something because the number on the bottom is always the root, the index number, the, the, the number of the, the type of root it is, okay? And the t goes in here. So the question now is just where does the 2 go? You can either do t squared or you can do all to the power of 2, whichever you like. But we'll do it this way for now, t squared, okay? Okay. 